this is a quick fire IGCSE and GCSE physics video. I'm doing it on the iPad because I think physics is better done on the iPad because you can actually see me writing the answers, particularly where there are calculations involved. Remember you want to play the video, pause it to write down your answer, and then play to listen to my perfect answer. Let me know in the comments below how you get on. Question one, what is the unit of power? And that is what, given by a capital W. Question two, what is the unit of work done? The answer here is joules, capital J. Question three, what is the unit of acceleration? That is meters per second squared. Question four, list four different examples of forces. You've got lots of options here, friction, nuclear force, magnetic force, air resistance, otherwise known as drag, normal reaction, electrostatic, just to name a few. What color is the earth wire? Remember that it's striped green and yellow. Next up, draw the symbol of a resistor. That's just a rectangle. Draw the symbol of a diode. What is the wave equation? Wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. Which EM waves can be used for cooking? Remember those electromagnetic waves. That's microwaves and infrared. What is the equation for calculating the critical angle? Sine C equals one over N. N stands for the refractive index. C is the critical angle. Explain how a single radiator can be used to heat an entire room. Hopefully this is screaming convection at you. So we're going to provide a perfect answer for convection. So the radiator heats the air above. The air expands and becomes less dense. The hot air rises, cooler, denser air falls, and finally a convection current is set up and the process repeats. What is 20 degrees in Kelvin? You need to do 273 plus 20 to get an answer, which is 293 Kelvin. Because remember, 273 Kelvin is the same as zero degrees Celsius. Now on to calculations. A boy of mass 43.2 kilograms runs and jumps onto a stationary skateboard. The boy lands on the skateboard with a horizontal velocity of 4.10 meters per second. The skateboard has a mass of 2.5 kilos. Calculate the combined velocity of the boy and skateboard just after the boy lands on it. So pause the video and get your calculator out. Now, before we start this question, we need to show that momentum is conserved. So we write the statement momentum before equals momentum after. And above, you can see the all important momentum calculation. So what is the momentum before? Well, we know it's the momentum of the boy plus the momentum of the skateboard and then momentum after, because the boy jumps on the skateboard, it's basically their combined momentum. So what is the momentum of the boy beforehand? Well, we know his mass is 43.2, and we know that his velocity was 4.1. The momentum in the skateboard, well, its mass is 2.5, but we're also told that it was stationary to begin with, so its velocity was zero. So the combined momentum afterwards will be their masses added together, multiplied by their combined velocity, which is what we're looking for. So now sort out your answer, 43.2 times 4.1 is 177.12, 2.5 times zero is zero, 43.2 plus 2.5 is 45.7, and we're multiplying that by x, then divide both sides by 45.7, and therefore x equals 3.88 meters per second to three significant figures. Here's your final question. So the velocity time graph shows the motion of a sledge as it travels down a hill, calculate the distance traveled by the sledge. Notice that when you're looking at distance on a velocity time graph, really, you're saying that distance is the area under the graph. Now, there's several ways in which you can answer this. 
you could divide it into three shapes so you find the area of this triangle, this rectangle and this final triangle or you could find the area of the trapezium. It's up to you how you do it. I'm going to do the area of the trapezium. So that's half of the two bases added together times the height. So there's base one, there's base two and there's the height. So for value A it's 10.5 minus 2.5 to get 8. B is a lot more straightforward because it's from here to here. It's 14.5 times the height, which is 3.25. Pop that into your calculator and your final answer is 36.6 metres to three significant figures. Right, let me know in the comments below how many of those questions you got right if you like this sort of thing and if you found this helpful i know it was a different format from the chemistry and biology quickfire but hopefully you can see why i chose to do it this way <laughs>